the last video I said I wanted to, you know, give you guys a little bit of an update of that guy there. And the video before that, a review on this. I do have a secondary Power Wagon Red RC body. But, we'll get to that in a second. I wanted to pay a little bit of uh, respect to the gentleman that went out of his way and shipped me one of his shirts and his hats. For many of you that don't know the logo or are unfamiliar with the logo, let me introduce you to IROC RC. This gentleman is another YouTuber. Very awesome guy. If it wasn't for him, you wouldn't see him and you wouldn't see him. Um, yeah, nonetheless, uh, really means a lot I really appreciate it. I apologize sir that I didn't get this up sooner I got this about a month ago and I got a funny story to tell you about it um, do you ever have one of those really really bad days like one of those days where you just wake up and you just know you're pretty much gonna get well you know and um yeah, I was having one of those days, went to work, everything, you name it, from dropping parts, dropping screws, bolts, while you're trying to hold things in, just a really bad day. And uh, it was a rainy day as well, you know, it's pouring down rain, and, you know, I'm grabbing all this stuff and that, and I'm getting ready to go into the house, and I trip over this box, I didn't even see it, soaking wet, trip over this box, I fall into the door, now, it looks like I was just out drinking midnight moonshine for like four hours and uh I, I i stagger in the door hit my head off the door and i see this box afterwards and at first i was getting ready to throw this box clear across the room and i stopped and looked and seen who it was from and i'll be honest with you sir one of the one of the biggest things that well one of the more highlights of that night is that i turned from having a really bad day to having a smile from ear to ear very much like i do behind this camera now and uh i love this hat i wear this all the time you know it's a great hat love it love the shirt too i've worn this a couple times this is just actually fresh out of the washer believe it or not i uh kind of been folding it and throwing it different ways because i got something behind here that means a lot to me uh, this is going to be the revealing of my first ever RC painted body. I've never painted one before, never trimmed one before, nothing. You know, it's the first time I've ever did it, and it's one of these. So, guys, please don't lash into me. Like I said, it was the first time. I actually am kind of nervous. I don't want to be judged real bad about this. But without further ado, let's get it over with before I uh, start changing my mind. Um, yeah, this is my first ever... RC painted body. I've never painted one before. So as you can see, it's three different colors. The body itself comes in four pieces. You got the bumper, the cabin chassis. This is all one piece. That's another piece. Then you got the tail, the tailgate and the bumper back here, over here, and you got the the back end. Four pieces, and then you're dealing with screws like this. Yes, you're not seeing nothing. I did mess that up, because when they give you this body, it's all one piece, and you got to cut it into four pieces. And me being a rookie, I didn't know. I started snipping along, and kind uh, kind of went in too far. Um, the reason why this body means a lot to me isn't just because it's my first, but because I once had an 05 2500 fully loaded Laramie spoiled brat machine type of deal. Had the 57 Hemi. This this actually comes with stickers for a 64 or a 57. I went with the 57 and put the Ram 2500. I actually wanted to cut this with an exacto knife but I didn't have a, a sturdy hand at the time so I could put Ram 2500 out like this the way it was on my truck um, but nonetheless you know I'm very happy with the way it turned out it has some of its blemishes one of the things I thought I would never would never be able to, to comprehend was getting this line so straight 
I did, I did. I got the line straight on both sides. Um, let's flip it over to the other side. And I did, I got, I got them both, they're both straight, believe it or not. And I, the only two places I messed up is right here. For some reason it bled through, that's not a mark, I don't think it is. Yeah, it's not wiping off, yeah, so I, I got the silver everywhere. You can see it on this, see it in the back here. You see it up here, see it over there. You can see it all over, all over these trucks. And uh, yeah, I got the silver all over the place, but like I said, it's my first ever RC body I've ever painted, and um, I think it came out great, especially this chrome. I think that's Spectra mirror finished chrome, something along those lines. It really pops. It's very bright. As you can see, it's... Yeah, body. You can see the... Wow. The, the quality that came out of that grill just makes me actually look like an exceptional paintist, but I'm not. I could barely spray paint to save my life but another reason why I haven't been in the RC world is because of this I've been into fireworks very heavily for as much money as you actually see sitting here this box is filled with 200 gram repeaters I believe there's three of these in the blocks I think there's what there's at least at least in this box believe it or not probably around six seven hundred shots of different things um i mean as you can see there's there's 24 here i actually got 600 something shots in this box if i'm not mistaken i think i do it's six or four well we're not here for that you know just broadcasting showing these guys a little bit of what i got i got some mortars there's another cake right there i didn't get into the box um these are all mortars here this is another cake. Really nice, nice uh, item from Phantom Fireworks. My opinion, being honest with everybody, you know, I got three 500 gram repeaters. Back when there's untamed retribution, military ordnance, pyrotechnic mother load, lucky space rocket, Excalibur shells, more shells, uh, parachuters firecrackers jumping jacks morning glories you name it i like fireworks all 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 of them you know i do but in my opinion being honest with everybody and i'm sure i'll probably get some agreements on this if you're into fireworks or any kind of pyrotechnics i think phantom fireworks in my opinion is very expensive i found online re re real uh real stores that you could actually buy online um for caliper shells done at Phantom Fireworks, you're paying $180 for 24. Nah, I'm sorry, but the only reason why I got this, the only reason why I got any of this stuff is because of the buy one get two free thing. Now this here was was something different. I had to exchange one of these, so they exchanged me for this. I'm okay with that. Uh, that there I actually got for free um, with a gas receipt. This came in an assortment. There's stuff in here that's from an assortment. Some bottle rockets. A couple Roman candles. Nothing real dainty like that. But the majority of it's all cakes like this. Red, white, and booms. Yeah, so this is where my other hobby kind of went. And with all the money I spent on these, I probably could have bought two more of these. And yeah, maybe one and a half of those. Yeah, maybe about that much of it in half. Give or take. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, I really do. I like and I get my get my rocks off with these fireworks. I really do. Um, I got, what is it? There's mini mortars there. The same thing you see here. I got two or three in that barrel there that I didn't even set off yet. I was messing around with them. And yes, we're way past July. I don't get it. But, um, guys, back to the RCs. What do you think? Do these guys think I did all right? Could I get an attaboy for my first one, or do I have to hit the shops again? Let me know in the comments below. Till, until next time, guys, be safe.